Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today I wanted to give a quick update on the Wham Bam Flexible Magnetic Build Plate System. That's an add-on for most 3D printers. Uh, because their Kickstarter ends in less than 24 hours, it actually ends the morning of December 6th. So I wanted to give an update video uh, to address some questions and give my uh, kind of final thoughts about this before the Kickstarter ended, because if you're interested in it, then you can go check them out below. And if you want to hear more about the Wham Bam system and hear my initial impressions and see the installation, you can check out my original video. And that video had a lot of great questions and comments that I want to talk about uh, before the Kickstarter ended. So one of the main questions on the last video was how does it handle different materials? Uh, so unfortunately I don't have any PET G on hand, but I do have some ABS. So I tried a couple ABS prints on the TiVo Tornado. Uh, I haven't tuned the printer much for ABS, uh, so you'll see that there's some artifacts and the elephant was printed with no infill, so some of the overhangs uh, are a little wonky. But what we're concerned about is bed adhesion. Uh, and I do have to say that uh, I did have to use hairspray. I did find that hairspray works really well on top of the build surface. Uh, so Wham Bam says that it could be printed with ABS uh, without any additional adhesion on it. Um, and it should print fine, but I found that when I tried it without any hairspray, uh, you can see that the edges did curl a little bit, um, as you would expect for ABS. But I did find that a little bit of hairspray made a big difference. Um, as soon as I sprayed just a little bit of hairspray on there, um, the uh, bottom surfaces adhered pretty well. And from there, it was like any other kind of build surface. Um, I do find it really, really convenient just to be able to pop off the, uh, the build plate afterwards and pop off the prints. Um, I've been doing a lot of printing because it's the holiday season, so it's time to print, you know, gifts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I've printed probably at least 15 batches of items so far, and it is really convenient just to be able to pop off the uh, build plate once it's done printing, flex it a couple of times, and the print pops right off. That is really convenient. So if you do want to print with materials other than PLA, uh, ABS is working out pretty well, although you may or may not need to add a little bit of hairspray. Uh, but that's not a problem because it cleans up really easily with alcohol. Um, I have heard that if you are printing with PETG, uh, that glue sticks also work really well. Um, you wouldn't be able to print it just on the bare surface, but you'll use just a little bit of glue stick on it and that will help it adhere. And like I said, I've been printing a whole lot with it and the print beds withstood it quite well. Uh, the flexible steel um, hasn't had any issues, even though I flexed it pretty hard to pop off some prints. Uh, the magnet has held up really well. So with the ABS, I was actually printing with a temperature of 110 degrees for the bed and the magnet hasn't lost any strength whatsoever. In the comments of my last video, someone was talking about a magnetic build plate system that they tried out and its magnets were only rated for 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, but I was able to crank this up to 110 degrees for multiple hours, enough time to print the elephants uh, and the Batman Buddha back here. And there was no difference in the magnetic properties of that uh, magnets. So I have no concerns that this won't stand up to a long time, uh, whether you're printing PLA temperatures or you're printing higher ABS temperatures uh, for that magnet, it's not gonna lose any strength. People were asking about different sizes. Uh, their Kickstarter is currently only this square base. Um, they have this square and a bunch of different sizes, but if you have a non-square uh, build plates such as a Mark Forged or a MakerBot or a circular plate for a Delta, uh, they currently don't have that, but under their frequently asked questions, um, they responded that if there was enough of an interest for a particular shape, uh, then they can definitely look into that in the future. But for the Kickstarter that ends tomorrow, um, it's just the different sizes of this square base. Um, but they have a lot of different options. And if you look at the bottom surface of any of these prints, you can see that it looks pretty good. If you're printing with PLA, you won't need anything additional on the print bed. Uh, I find that it works just really well on the surface itself. Uh, no hairspray, no glue sticks, nothing like that. Um, but like I was saying before, ABS, I found that it needed a little bit of hairspray in order to really adhere to the build plates. 
Um, so you'll have to experiment depending on what material you're using. But regardless of that, I find that just the convenience of being able to pop off the build plates is a major improvement. And I actually can't wait until I have multiple of these build plates. Uh, so that way, once a print is immediately finished, I can remove this, plop it off while it cools, and then I can put on a new build plate and immediately start printing afterwards. Uh, so you can have that kind of build plate rotation in there. And I can't wait for that because that's going to be a big boost to productivity there rather than waiting for this glass surface to cool down and grab an X-Acto knife and kind of scrape it up off of that build plate. Um, this makes it just so much more convenient just to be able to flex it and it pops right off. And actually, I think that's all I wanted to talk about before their Kickstarter ended. Again, this is a Kickstarter, so you are kind of gambling by giving a company your money up front and hopes that they'll send you something back. Um, but I am hopeful because this product seems to be pretty well fleshed out. Uh, they're not using it for research and development more so. They're using the money for actual uh, production of this. Um, they said that the initial backers should be shipping this month actually and then uh, the rest of the backers will roll out um, soon afterwards from there. So if you are interested you can check out their Kickstarter linked below and again I have no financial investment in their Kickstarter I just thought that this was something that you guys would be interested in and after hearing your comments uh, on the last video it seemed like there was a lot of interest. Um, so check them out down below. Uh, it does end the morning of December 6th, so you better hurry up if you are interested. And if you do have any last minute questions, leave them in comments down below. I will try to answer them uh, with my experience. And I know a couple other people that have tried out these build plates have been floating around in these videos, uh, so they might be able to answer them as well. So leave those down below. And as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.